what's up welcome back to the channel so it is the new year and i'm sure a lot of you are trying to eat better and if you're anything like me i love food i love to eat i love everything about it but most of all i like tasty food because who doesn't i want i want it to taste good so i'm here to show you guys tasty food alternatives that you could try out this year and hopefully you'll love it just as much as I do. Guys, I spent a lot of time at the grocery store like sifting through things. Like I'll spend up to two hours like looking at labels and trying to figure out what's healthy, what's not. So I've tried a lot of things, hated a lot of things, but I love a lot of things. So I do feel like I have some know-how when it comes to healthy food that tastes good. So um, without further ado, let's just get into this right now. Okay guys, so my first healthy alternative is um pasta because i don't know about you mm, but i love pasta but guys guess what this ain't just any pasta <laughs> do you guys like ramen noodles ramen noodles i don't know how you pronounce it i'm always wrong but either way you know what i'm talking about ramens well i found all natural made from 100 percent brown rice ramen noodles okay Guys, this, I've been eating this nonstop, for real, okay? Like, this is my pre-workout meal, okay? I got the carbs, but healthy carbs, you don't want those nasty carbs. Now, the only thing is, and these come with, you can see through here, there's about one, two, three, yeah, four bricks of the pasta in here. The only thing is, it is not, does not have like any seasoning packets with it, you know, so you're not gonna have anything to mix in, but that's okay. Because if you make your own marinara sauce, or if you make like, honestly, you could put anything in here, even just like olive oil and like garlic or whatever, <laughs> easily spice this up. It is so delicious. I even had it just by itself, plain, I mean plain noodle action, and I'd still eat it. It was really good. Guys, I have to mention this because this is like my saving grace. Like I thought I was for real never gonna be able to eat pasta again unless I had it for a cheat meal. But now I can have it for every meal. This brand is called Lotus Foods. Rice ramen. All right guys, next up on the list. If you're anything like me, I love chips. I'm not gonna deny that, okay? I love to snack. I like crunchy, crunchy, crunchy snacks. I like to be in front of the TV. I like watching Netflix at night. The last thing I do at the end of each day is pop on some Netflix and eat something. And I've been looking for a healthy snack, like a healthy chip that I can eat relentlessly. And yeah, I found at uh, <laughs> TJ Maxx. No, maybe it was Marshall's, but it's like the same thing. Um, it's called the better chip and They have different flavors. I got one in beet and I got one in spinach and kale and both are <laughs> To die for they're so good whole grain chips. This is made with real beets and this is made with real spinach and kale So it is a chip. It's not like you're eating air. There are some calories, but they're all good calories guys There's nothing bad about this baby and they taste really good and it's it's kind of funny um if you like kind of a salty taste not overly salty but these have like saltiness to it but the sodium is very low it's only 70 milligrams for 10 chips it's, i don't know about you guys i'm trying to keep the bloat down i don't like to bloat so i'm trying to you know lower the sodium intake and these really they do it for me but they still have like a salty flavor which i like because I don't want to eat anything bland. That's not my goal here. So along the lines of snacks, okay, this is still in the same category of snacks. Um, also at TJ Maxx, bean protein snack. So these are roasted chickpeas and they have different flavors. There's like this one, chili lime is my favorite. They also have just regular sea salt. And guys, you're popping a whole chickpea in your mouth right now. So you're getting massive amount of protein. Yeah. Each serving size has six grams of protein in here. So this is awesome for like a post-workout. And I don't know about you, but I always get hungry whenever I'm on the road, no matter what. Like I won't be hungry before I leave, but the second I get my car and the second I drive away and I'm far enough from home where I can't turn back, I get really hungry and I, I, I have to have like snacks in my car, man. You just never know when you're gonna get hungry. 
and I don't like getting hungry. So this is a great alternative, guys, if you're on the go especially, because it does have a zipper up here, zipper, yeah, no, it is zip locks back up. So you don't have to worry about spilling all over your vehicle or wherever you is. The next healthier alternative that I have is my superfood shake um, that my dad actually got. And it's from the brand Invigorate. He ordered it from Bicycle Magazine. So this can pretty much act like a meal replacement. It is a protein shake. Guys, this is in the flavor triple chocolate brownie. And believe me, it's pretty dang good because I'm very picky when it comes to proteins. Not only is it a protein shake, guys, it does have vegetable complex in it, um, an immunity booster complex, probiotic complex, and um, digestive enzyme complex, and cognitive enhancers. So there's a lot of benefits to this baby, and I freaking love it, guys. I've been adding it to like my Greek yogurt and things like that. So I think this is a great alternative for somebody who lacks in like, say, the, the rounded diet area, somebody who needs a little more fiber and who needs a little more vegetables but you don't want to sit there and eat broccoli so this has just definitely helped me out because i don't know about you guys but when i'm hungry i'll usually eat something a little more filling and vegetables are usually something that that's like the last thing on my list <laughs> my normal go-to so um yeah there's no sugar added at all and it is gluten-free and soy-free. So I'm pretty sure you can probably find this on Amazon. If so, I'll link it down below. But guys, I've been obsessed with this. I've been making banana smoothies with it and I've been putting it into my oatmeal in the morning because, you know, I need that protein, baby. Okay guys, so the next healthy alternative. Now, guys, I have done a healthy alternative video. I'll have it linked down below so you can see it. Um, and I talked about almond milk, but this is not just any almond milk. This is a protein nut milk. Guys, I noticed something. Almond milk's all right to me. I mean, I grew up drinking regular milk, so I always prefer that, but I got into the almond milk kick because it's obviously healthier, but I noticed that a lot of almond milk doesn't have that much protein in it. If I'm drinking almond milk, I better be getting some protein. So, um. I found at Whole Foods, and I actually haven't been able to find it in any other grocery store, um, but I have found a protein nut milk from the brand Silk. And guys, in one serving size, there is 10 grams of protein. So I love to add this into my protein shake after I work out. And um, it's actually made from almond and cashew. Cashew happens to be my favorite nut. It's got 50% more calcium than dairy milk, so you still got your calcium intake. And um, yep, and it's still dairy and lactose free. Um, gluten free, soy free, you name it, cholesterol free, and there's no, nothing artificial about it. So guys, I prefer this over any other, any other almond milk, like hands down, okay? And I've tried quite a few. All right guys, the next healthy alternative. I don't know about you, okay? But I love tasty sauces. I like to dip things, like everything. I like to make pastas and deliciousness things. I love to make it in tasty sauces. James and I, when we were at Whole Foods, okay, we found from the brand Sky Valley, sweet chili sauce, baby. And there's a lot to choose from. It's not just sweet chili sauce, but I love sweet chili sauce. So I went with this. Um, Gluten-free, okay, just saying. A lot of sauces out there are made with refined sugar. Horrible for you. This is made with cane sugar. And let's see, it's all natural spices. Like there's nothing bad at all about this. There's just water, red chili, rice vinegar, <laughs> minced garlic, salt, crushed red pepper. And guys, the best part of it all is it tastes just like regular sweet chili sauce hands down. Every time I find a healthier version of something delicious, it never really tastes good. But this one is fantastic. I swear by this, Sky Valley is the way to go, okay? James and I uh, made a healthy dinner last night using the healthy ramen noodles, and we did a nice stir fry with vegetables and like, calamari, and we mixed it in with the sweet chili sauce and it was so good. So if you're a sauce lover like myself, 
hit up Sky Valley. Okay guys, last but not least, the last alternative I got for y'all. Well, you cannot forget about dessert. I am addicted to ice cream like no other. That's my favorite thing in the world. If I could eat anything all day, every day for the rest of my life, it would be ice cream. So yeah, my obsession with ice cream is real. And um, just the other day I took a banana, okay? Frozen banana, all right? I froze like a bunch of them and I took it and I put it in a blender, blended up real nice with that almond milk that I showed you and took some of this baby, this 100% cocoa chocolate, it's a chocolate bar. And I crumpled up the chocolate onto the blended frozen banana and it tasted identical to just banana, frozen banana yogurt, like for real. There was nothing bad about it, it was just straight up banana. This was actually from Weiss, you can get it anywhere. They have different percentages if you're somebody who don't like the 100% cocoa because it could be very bitter. But I found that if you crush it up fine enough and you put it, you just mix it in, you won't even taste that it's bitter. It just mixes in with the sweet banana. So yeah, and dark chocolate is phenomenal for you guys, okay? Especially 100%. So yeah, guys, if you are somebody like me who has a serious sweet tooth, try a frozen banana, okay? Just try a blended frozen banana with some all-natural chocolate. You can even add in the chocolate protein, which I'm gonna try that next, okay? And we'll see how that goes. Okay, all right guys, that was it. Those were my healthy alternatives. If you guys have tried any of these for yourself, comment down below. I wanna know what you thought of them. I'm always on the lookout for cleaner options. So, if and when I do find another round of cool stuff to show you guys, I'll make another video. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.